What's up everybody, Braxton here. Which means, another video. Today is finally my Friday. Worked a 48 hour week. Wait, hold on. Yep, 48 hour week. Uh, <laughs> freaking exhausted with the weekends here. That means new videos. And uh, this week we got some new questions for my first year on T, so I'm gonna make a video for so this week we're talking all about coming out. <laughs> you guys ready? Coming out. Are you out to your family and friends? Yes, absolutely. How did you come out to them or why did you choose to wait? Um, so how I came out as transgender, I actually posted a picture of the day I got the, um, what's it called, consultation. The day I went to, okay. So coming out, first question, are you out to your family and friends? Yes, absolutely. Uh, how did you come out to them or why did you choose to wait? So how I came out, I actually, um, let's get into that. So when I had my consultation with the doctor about starting tea, that's the day like he prescribed me testosterone and then the next day after that's when I started. But anyway, how I came out, I uh, just posted on Instagram like the little sheet that said testosterone and like this prescription's for, you know, whatever my name. And I just posted it and pretty much was just telling the world like, hey, this is me, this is B, I'm becoming Braxton now. And like, I am excited for this change in my life. And you know, prior to this, I only had told my um, stepsister and my stepmom and you know they were the ones I kind of knew and they had my support um, before all of this and then finally when I was just like ready to just get out there like ah my first appointment starting tea tomorrow I was just so excited so I posted on Instagram I was just like hey this is me starting testosterone lovely journey and then the rest of my, my family and friends found out that way and I just got endless amount of support and love and you know Lots of beautiful comments, so you know, you guys know who you are. Love you guys for that. Next question, uh, how did you come out at work slash school? All right, well, I'm not in school right now, uh, but at work, hmm. So uh, coming out at work has been one of my biggest priorities and also kind of one of the biggest things that stressed me out the most. And at first when I started T, I was so eager to just like let everybody know right off the bat, but I had to play kind of smart and strategically in a way that I could still be comfortable, but also get my point across. So I kind of waited until probably mid-February to kind of finally start coming out and just making it more known. And how I did that was I just started like, I changed my name on our little clock out system to Braxton instead of B. and. I just started labeling everything as, you know, Braxton and kind of just like whenever my coworkers would refer to me like with female pronouns, I would just correct them and be like, oh, you know, I actually use male pronouns or just be like he, you know. So that's how I did that. And, you know, fast forward to March 14th, we are here and about, I'm pretty sure like 90% of my staff is aware now. And I've noticed more and more lately, like a bunch of my crew me like members and my staff and, you know, all my supervisor everybody I work with have like you know just caught on like I haven't had to like individually tell everybody they've just kind of been you know noticing like my higher ups and you know some of my coworkers have been addressing me differently and you know giving me the right name so that's been really nice to be at work and not stress about this as much every day as I was because before I was just like ah. Oh, I hate it. I hate being misgendered. I hate not everybody knowing, but I don't know how to tell them, but I do. So that helped me a lot. So last one is tips for coming out. To be honest, you really just have to be yourself. Like that's all I've been able to learn from this is literally be yourself. And, you know, people will notice. You just kind of have to do this in a way that's comfortable for you. And you also have to do it in a way where people will like, you know, understand and see like your side of it. Cause I know a lot of people, um, half the time they're ignorant is because they have no clue what you are going through or what I'm going through or. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm starting to get a mustache. It's pretty exciting.
Yeah, see that? Coming in strong on the sides. So for me, I've just had to learn and accept like, yeah, not everybody is going to understand this right away. Not everybody knows what you're even going through. So in a way for you to come out that's comfortable and safe and also very just, you know, efficient and less stressful. You gotta be who you are. You gotta be direct when people misgender you. You have to let people know like, hey, I'm not harping on you, but yes, these are my pronouns. This is who I am, this is my name. Um, if you can respect that, I can respect you. And that's kind of all I've had to been able. <laughs> it's kind of how I've been able to accept all of this and just kind of live comfortably every day with myself and with others. It's just, you know, put yourself in their shoes, but also put yourself in mine. You have to realize other people have other points of views and that they're not always gonna match up with yours. But if you can find some common ground, instead of, you know, feeling offended or, you know, taking an emotional defense to this, you have to be open-minded in all aspects. It can't just be about you. It has to be, you know, both sides. That's how arguments, that's how dynamics work. It's two, it takes two to tango. So it takes two to start tea. Nah, <laughs> only took one. Oh, I'm like, who's that fucking guy back there? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my ball that <laughs> anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. I'm gonna be posting more videos on this channel soon uh, This weekend St. Patrick's Day is my sixth shot of testosterone So I'll be posting a vlog for that on my main channel, which is below Thank you guys for watching this and I hope to see y'all soon leave some feedback follow my main channel Don't look at my acne <laughs> Ooh, Wait, hold on you see that guys? Self love. That's how we do it around here. But anyway, take care. Happy St. Patrick's Day everybody. Drive safe, do not drink and drive. Always Uber, uh, always have a DD who is actually sober or you know, just don't drink. <laughs> but anyway, hope everybody enjoys their weekend and enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> You know, this arm bear is getting out of control. <laughs>